So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Barrios going to bring this out of the end zone. And he's going to be taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit. Like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 83 yards. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive. Turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What's that? Well, that looks, I used to hear my old man talk about it. It usually meant that thing's done. Well, now that they got the touchdown, it's, it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute. But did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it. And afterwards, they'll say, there was never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. 82 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing, Prescott. Open man downfield is Lamb, it's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That one goes for 30 yards. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. Just need a yard here. Second and one. Prescott. Rush coming, and he's taken down. They got to get to the 23 here on third. Looking to throw. Prescott. Sure, and they got to him again. Sacked by Andrew Van Ginkle. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter. 14 to 7. Dak and the offense still out there. They are going to go for it. Now Prescott on fourth down. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. Mike McCarthy took the gamble, didn't pay off. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. 
The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. Two is throw complete there to Barrios. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Two are getting it quickly on to Robert. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Second down and four. Right back to Jalen Waddle for another catch. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. And that'll bring up second down. Brings up second and seven. So they'll get nothing out of that play. Third and seven now. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Now to it. here fair catch and this will come out to the 25 about set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense and with a little under a minute to play they may be looking to pick up some yardage here maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. On second down, Prescott again. That is caught by Lynn. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. First down now, but that clock rolling. Prescott now from the 50. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down at the two. So close. A big play there just before halftime. 48 yards. Now we know this offense has the potential to strike quickly, and they just bit off two huge plays on back-to-back -back snaps. So on the other side of the ball, you've got to go Band of Brothers' thought process. No one left behind. No pointing fingers. No accusations. Because if you don't, those quick strikes we just saw, they become long-lasting. Pollard, he is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Here's Prescott. touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott and the Cowboys have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half 
So they're able to break the tie just before halftime. Now they just don't want anything crazy to happen on the ensuing kickoff. Yeah, they want to just add the extra point, get the kickoff taken care of, and get to the locker room with the lead that they fought so hard to get. Aubrey good with a PAT. And the lead is now 21-14. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. And going deep for Hill. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Not wanting to take a chance this time, they'll keep it on the ground. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. This fielded right at the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And good shit. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change. There he goes, left side. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tony Pollard, 65 yards. And the Cowboys come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. We know it's primarily a passing league now, but anytime a runner breaks one like that, You've got to have a secondary that can find a way to him and find a way to get him on the ground. Absent of that, he's going to find the end zone every time. Aubrey now for the point after. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. Dolphins 14. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Barrios now from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now... Urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert, and he'll get only a couple up to the 22. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. 
Throwing now is Tugavailoa. They're going deep for Hill. And this is caught at the 20. It's a big play there for Miami. And even 60 yards. That's good for a Miami Dolphin. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. The defense showing some anger after giving up the big play. This time they'll lose one or two. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Hey, come on, two. Come on, two. Come on, two. Hey, 21 to you. Solo left Zion. Solo left Zion. Looking to pass. Tua. Oh, and Tua going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. They'll take over first and ten at their own seven-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck fifty now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. Prescott off play action. And he slings one that's incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he will be very close to a first. And that means fourth down. I bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call. And they got awfully close. Now we're at fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here and maybe want to go pick it up. Play clock about to expire. Mike McCarthy's going to take a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Here's Brian Anger now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And a fair catch is taken here, a step or two inside the 45-yard line. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return, and it'll be Dolphin football. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And three interceptions in this game, and I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, what's interesting is, what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. To a hit, and the ball is out. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, 
had an alert teammate who was able to get it. Come on, two. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. From the gun, it's Tua. His throw incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Going to the air. Tug of Iloa. And that will be incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get them the football back. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Big stop on the turnover on downs to get the football back. And now it's just all about salting this one away. Yeah, just slowly bleed the clock away. Clock's definitely on your side. And, you know, when we talk about analytics in the game, what is this one? The advanced win metrics? Because if you take care of the football here, bleed the clock down, with about 95% chance of winning Oh, yeah, it? I'd say 95 or better. I, and I know you always say it. Every coach does. It's just protecting the football at this point. And knowing that the defensive guys, they're coming after the ball more than they are the person. They want to knock it free. 83 yards receiving now for him on the afternoon as he's got a first down here. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out. Just a little too lackadaisical, Charles, and they didn't get up and snap the ball in time. Delay of game. Yeah, and I'm not sure if he understood where the clock was located in different stadiums. It's in different places. You have to check that in pregame and make sure you're aware so you don't run into penalties like these. They'll run left with Pollard. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. 67 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock. Ball on the seven yard line. Here's a second down and nine. Well, everybody was up there ready at the line of scrimmage, CD, but no snap, and the delay of game ensued. Yeah, and I'm sure their head coach is asking the exact same thing. What's going on out there? Almost like they thought they had more time than actually was on the clock. 